Hello everybody, welcome to Console Classical Guitar in Paris for a video review of one of the greatest guitar we have the chance to have. It's a Michael Ellery number 245 2020. So if you want to know everything on the guitar, just wait two minutes and I'll be back. Welcome back. Today we are happy to present a guitar from one of the very best luthiers in the world, Michael and Oleg O'Leary. They are based in Ireland. The guitar of Michael and Alex are played by guitarists who are among the very best, like Berta Roras from Venezuela, Sharon Isbin, who is teaching at the Julia in New York. There's as well David Russell, and many more like uh, Sergio Assad and uh, Elena Zucchini from Italy. Alec O'Leary is a professional guitarist who joined his father 15 years ago and both make between 15 and 12 guitars per year and have nearly two years of waiting time. But Michael and Alec are not only building guitars, they are organizing the Guitar Festival of Ireland and they are working to promote the classical guitar in Ireland. Their guitars are made under the sign of generosity, generosity for the material, generosity for the craftsmanship and generosity in the sound as well. So let's see what the guitar is offering. So you have a very nice cedar top. Michael and Alec make, made, make a cedar and spruce top, but, but we prefer always cedar. So it's a very nice cedar and beneath the cedar you have a lattice bracing with balsa and a little bit of carbon. Um, one thing which is very important is the top is quite thick. It's not like the Australian guitars. It's 1.8 millimeter, which is very close to a classical guitar. And uh, you will see that it's made to get a more traditional sound. Um, here we have a very nice rosette. It's a Celtic um, style rosette with uh, three types of wood. That's what uh, Alec told me. There is Pierce, Macore, and Cedar. And you have a nice motif, uh, Celtic motif. And you have as well some small fillet here. Uh, that we will find all around the guitar. Um, then you, we have as well a very nice bridge, ebony bridge, uh, with 12 hole tie block. Okay, here. And uh, the 12 hole tie block are mostly on most of the guitar of today, and they are made to increase the pressure of the string on the top by changing the angle of the string because the string is attached a little bit lower one or two millimeter lower on the bridge. And um, the back and side are stunning. I let you watch. It's um, ebonic, exotic ebony, which is a wood which is very close to the ebony, quite heavy. Um, the back is laminated, so it's um, there is a double side of wood here. And uh, it's slightly arched to make the back stronger and to avoid to have any resonance in the body of the guitar. Then we have um, a sedan neck, very like on most of the guitar, and ebony fretboard with something that has been implemented a um, few years ago, not too long ago, which is the elevated fingerboard here. So you have a better access to the high notes here and that as well changed a little bit the sound of the guitar because the, the angle between the string and the top is slightly uh, wider uh, and so there is more pressure on the top here so that uh, makes a difference the headstock is uh, very classy with uh, ebony plate here like on the bridge and the tuners are from Irving Sloan, uh, made in USA. So let's see how the guitar sounds. And um, so you can hear all the notes one by one. So the E string first. Very deep. 
some brightness. between the strings. G strings. The strings are Dada Yo Carbon. He had the uh, harmonic resonance which are supporting the note uh, E string. It's very natural, it's like um, it would be sounding like a bit uh, Simon Marty guitar, very natural, very clear. As a conclusion, I will say that uh, this is a dream guitar, one of the finest guitars of today. The guitar is loud with the perfect balance between a modern and a traditional sound. Most of all, the sound is amazing of beauty. If you're looking for a guitar which will be your guitar for a very long, long time, this is the one. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.